All right, Michelle joining us this morning, letting us know everything that's uh, trending from overnight. You have a lot to get to here. We do. We have yeah. a lot happening in Hollywood on this Friday right. morning. Uh, so let's start with a new season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So that is uh, not possibly happening. That's the story. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> it's early, right? Yeah. Uh, this year, we don't know really what's going on, but we can watch a star Rachel Bronson in the movie I'm Your Woman streaming today. She says wasn't exactly easy for her to play because she believes she's not much of a quiet woman. <laughs> so I'm Your Woman is out now on Amazon Prime Video. Also out today on Netflix. A whole bunch of movies, uh, stars in this movie. Have you heard about this movie before? No. It's called The Prom. So when I mean stars, or when I say stars, I mean stars. Meryl Streep, Nicole Kidman, Gary Washington, Keegan oh, Michael wow. Key. They're all in this film adaptation of a Broadway musical from director Ryan Murphy. And uh, for streaming rental, also this morning, Songbird from director Mi Michael Bay is the first feature film made during the pandemic, set during the pandemic. Okay. It's so, getting terrible reviews. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that at all. Have you been um, watching any TV shows that are, you know, weaving the pandemic in? I haven't. I actually watch shows that are from like 10 years ago and I'm like, oh, you guys are <laughs> gathering. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I see all these groups and right? I'm like, what is, I don't remember this life. Um, Grey's okay. Anatomy is a show that, I mean, obviously it's a medical show, so the way that they're weaving it in makes sense. Right. It's easy for like us to understand, I think, as viewers. Sure. And there's other shows where it's like kind of mentioned and, you know, you kind of feel that concern yeah. of what's going on. So yeah. obviously, though, this movie about a pandemic during a pandemic, people don't want to see. <laughs> We're like, we want to watch movies to escape from this. Well, that, is, real. that is true. Put this out in five years. <laughs> yeah. Also this morning, a big name testing positive for COVID-19. Ellen DeGeneres revealing the diagnosis in a post on social media, you can see it right there, uh, saying that she tested positive. She said she's feeling fine right now, uh, but her daily talk show will stop production until at least January, which makes sense. It was supposed yeah. to do a few more shows, but then I, I know you know I lived in LA for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Funniest thing, the whole city shuts down for a month for Christmas. <laughs> like oh, production really? of That's every nice for TV people show. to be able to go home. It, it is really too. nice, but you so know, it's a good time for her to get She's like, oh, it's nice guess. timing at least. But I will, with Ellen, I would say that she would have been the last celebrity I thought would get it. She was so careful about it and she was having people, I think she was doing part of her show where she had the window up and people were even going to the yeah. window. So I don't know, maybe because she's back in and it's- it, You never know, I guess, in that yeah. sense. And especially if she says she's feeling fine, there's a chance that whoever she got it from was also feeling fine. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, we just don't know. And it's, it's so hard too with the television shows because even in here, you know, like we're not wearing our masks in the studio, right. we wear them everywhere else and stuff. So, I mean, you just, you never know. It's a lot of people to get one, something on the air. Absolutely. So we are also celebrating a birthday in Hollywood today. Happy birthday to Oscar winning actress Monique. She is 53 oh, wow. and Haley Steinfeld, do you remember her? I hear her name all the time. I've never seen her, so this is the first time I've actually she's seen really her. Yeah. Uh, she's really cute. She's 24. She had a really big song a couple of years ago, but just the one. That's <laughs> so it. Maybe one there's hit wonder. 24 though, so you know what? She she's got that. a couple of years in her too. <laughs> I want to give her a live look outside. It's Friday. That's the most exciting part. Your business brief is next.